it's humid really humid early morning we're gonna head over to Omaha Nebraska hit the way and pay it's back open the only thing is uh, you gotta wear a mask and gloves so let's hit that and see uh, if there's deals to be had uh, after this reopening that's one way to do it you want a discount tire uh, cover <laughs> I love these people Four years old and coming out of a tub they're soaked look at that mask this was a new mask <laughs> look how dirty it was in there it was unbelievable that yeah, actually might have been the second time I wore it um, tons of stuff what amazed me was the amount of flat screen TVs there were in there they were lined up against the wall and in all of the bins there was probably at least 50 flat screen TVs. Uh, at least, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. I, I didn't even film in there. It was packed. Um, is it, uh, did everybody donate their uh, flat screen TV and uh, get a new flat screen TV with their stimulus? I, I have no idea, that'd be my best guess. We're gonna check out what we got. I need, a, I need to drink some water. They don't allow water in there. I gotta hydrate and then get the hell out of here. All right, let me show you what I got. You always gotta be up in my grill, don't you? I'm back. I'm in the air conditioning, thank God. They cranked the air conditioning up a little bit at the Goodwill outlet, but not nearly enough for the masks. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but here's a quick overview of everything I got. I spent um, $14.37 for everything here. So check this out. All right, you know I'm a hack guy. I got a Titleist, it's brand new. It's a little dusty, I'll put a lint roller over it. It's fitted. Um, I can typically get about $20. Snow Dog Plows. Um, I've sold a similar hat, another plow company, never heard of this, but these typically go for about 15 to $20. This is, I, I, I've sold one of these before, not in this condition. This is a, yeah, it's a local athletic. I don't know if this is faded or if it's dirty. I'm gonna try very carefully to clean it out, but it, it still has its original uh, tags. Um, if I can clean this up, about 35 to 40 dollars no problem I like obscure hats never heard of this but i'm going to put it on uh ebay or se for 16.95 you never know i sold these before in the past a cert uh, community emergency response teams uh, there's uh, i support groups like this they, they go out and help tornado victims flood victims um and uh often you gotta buy your own gear so uh, there's a cert hat. I have sold cert hats before. I'm uh, probably about twenty dollars. <clears throat> Where's the shuffle? There's no shuffle. I always pick these up when I find them. Um, I sell a lot of older iPods and vintage electronics. Um, if I have a green iPod shuffle, if I have a uh, connecting case for it uh, I can obviously get more money it weighs nothing so I mean I just grab it put it on a shelf this is a 10 to 15 dollar CD CDs in perfect shape Otis Redding in person at the whiskey a go-go pretty limited run CD uh, I picked that up this is another one of those uh, weight loss exercise DVDs uh, this Ross however you say his last name. It uh, has a little bit of a cult following, 10 to $15. I was very happy to see this. Uh, there was a book collector, you know the guys or gals, grab tons of books and scan them. Miss this guy right here. Uh, this uh, manual 
in color uh, will uh, bring me easily $25 to $30. Um, I'm not sure about this model. If this, if this was a Harley manual, it would sell probably almost instantly. Yamaha, I'll sell this in less than a week. Um, it's probably not worth a whole lot of money, but this is a uh, vintage United Airlines Omaha um, baggage tag, probably from the 60s. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I think this is going to be when somebody wants to uh, return something. I think I'll just send them one of these. I'll just throw that on my desk. It's pretty cool. No control. Uh, this was in a box with a manual. No idea. Didn't even look it up. Not even see if it was bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I broke my own rule. I should have taken the batteries out because I would have saved weight. What is wrong with me? Another remote, I've never seen this one. Uh, they try to sell it. This one has a keyboard on the back, no idea. Here we got a Merrick 1899 manual. They got like uh, how to administer cocaine and heroin to children. It's a reprint. Um, I've sold these before, 10 to $15. Obscure book on the USS Charles Carroll. Brand new from the uh, publisher. No idea. I'm gonna put probably $29.95 on it. Um, big hat collector. Um, Amish style straw made hat. Um, has a little bit of damage on the back, unfortunately. I don't even know why I picked it up, but it, it, it's just pretty cool. Another thing I picked up, last name, Walter. I thought it was a cool W. I'll put it on the shelf. There's a, I got some dirt. Milwaukee vintage 90s radio station promotional stocking. Justin Bieber, vag, <laughs> whoops, swag bag uh, for, for a few, you know, VIP tickets. This is probably from quite a few years ago. Um, I've sold uh, similar swag bags uh, before for a lot of money. Didn't even look it up. Here's an older felt hat. Perfect shape. Just needs a lint roller. Um, I'll probably get about $30 to $40 for that. Maybe a little bit more. And then I don't know if this is, it's not cornhole, but it's some kind of football toss game. It's great condition. Kansas City, I know they won the championship recently. I don't know, it's just too big to show you. It has these little things. It, it, guys, it's hot out, I'm so tired. So yeah, that's all I gotta show you. Uh, not a bad haul, I'll probably net about 200 to maybe $230 for all this stuff. I paid, like, uh, what was it? I had it written down, 14 and change. So yeah, Goodwill outlets open back up. I think I'll definitely be going again, so. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.